Hi, it's Deanna, and tonight I'm going to show you a vintage 1950s Stife teddy bear that was made in Germany. And uh, this one, I believe, is uh, known as Teddy Original, or the original Teddy. And this design uh, was around uh, for a short period of time, between the 1950s and the mid-1960s. Unfortunately, he doesn't have the button in his ear with the little flag. Um, so they had a button in the ear with a little um, material or fabric flag with a, a stock number on it or a design number and on the chest area they would have like a little cardboard tag and so that's uh, sadly missing so it's a little hard if you're not an expert because I'm not um, to pinpoint the exact age but I do know anyways between the 1950s and the 1960s and you can see he has um, felt paw pads he has uh, inverted Y mouth so it's an up to, upside down Y on um, the threading, and he has a vertical stitch nose. And I can tell his glass, um, his eyes are made out of glass and not plastic, like the uh, mid uh, 1960s version, because it's cold to the touch. That's generally how you can tell. And um, he does have a squeaker or a growler. It's in his stomach, and it's not a tip style one. Um, a tip style one is when you tilt the bear back and forth. It would make a growling sound, but instead it's a spring, like a little spring uh, tummy inserted one that you squeeze the tummy and it would make a, a, a growling sound. And unfortunately this one doesn't have it working anymore. And uh, let me show you his profile so you can get an idea what they what these bears look like. And if you have one in your collection that you're not sure if it's a 1950s, 1960s version, this might help you to guide you to see if yours is similar or identical. Let me turn him around and I'll show you um, how he looks uh, in the profile on the back. And he has a little hump, like a small pronounced hump here. And you can see some mohair loss, which is uh, quite common with these uh, vintage bears as they were loved. And uh, let me turn him sideways so you can see his profile. I'll tilt his head a little for you. And he is jointed, so he does swivel. And he's just absolutely adorable. Um, he's missing his little bow that he originally came with. And I added this little um, orange one because I thought it looks nice with his mohair. And so, uh, yeah, so uh, Stife was around uh, since the late 1800s when I believe her name was Margaret Stife or Marguerite Stife, um, who was actually handicapped and only had the use of one arm and in a wheelchair, started to make pin cushion elephants out of felt. And people um, ended up uh, wanting to buy more and children ended up loving them. And then she started to make all sorts of plush and mohair animals. And then in the early 1900s, around 1902, 1903, her brother got on board with her and he uh, created like the first teddy bear. And uh, soon thereafter, they were the king of teddy bears. And even though there were other companies making them, Stife is uh, known for their teddy bears. So this company has been around for quite some time. It's still in business, which is amazing. And uh, I like to have the older versions instead of the newer ones because they also make replicas of these vintage and antique versions. And so sometimes you may think you have a vintage or antique Stife, but you only have a replica or a reproduction made by Stife, but of, you know, a copy of the original bears. And without the uh, little button in the ear or the little hang tag and the flag giving you the, uh, the number of the design, it's very hard to tell if you're not an expert. And like I said earlier, I'm definitely not an expert. And, uh, but... Uh, with, with Google, Google is your friend. That's I always say Google is your friend. Um, it can help you to figure out how old these bears are. This one is about 10 inches tall. And uh, they did make them in all different sizes. And so this is a petite one. But it's not miniature. They did make miniature versions of the same bear. And uh, so I'm glad to uh, share this with you. So once again, thanks for watching. If you like what you see, Please hit the thumbs up and subscribe and tune in because I'll be showing uh, more antiques and teddy bears and all sorts of interesting things in the coming months, weeks, and years. So thanks for watching. Bye for now.